Hi, welcome to Flow Plus. I'm Chris from I Am Yogi, and we're going to be exploring balance. Balance in our standing postures, our twisted postures, our seated postures, our folding postures. And with that, I invite you to be present throughout. Let's begin lying on the mat, head towards the top of the mat and feet towards the back. And notice the connection as you find this lying down posture, extend the legs, extend the arms down by the body and the palms are facing up towards the ceiling. And with the eyes open, just notice the connection of your heels, the backs of your legs, your buttocks, your arms, your back, your shoulders, your head connect to the floor and the floor has completely got your back. So it's safe to be here and it's safe to breathe as you close your eyes and observe the breath. Don't change the breath. Allow your breath to move freely and you're merely the observer. Notice how your breath moves and where your breath is landing right now in this present moment. Is it in your chest? Is it around your solar plexus? Is it in your lower belly? But make no judgment. Merely observe. And as you lie here, using your mind's eye, scan through the body for any tension or tightness that you may be holding on to. Maybe there's an injury that you're nursing that has to be taken into consideration. And feel the breath as you land here, having no expectations of class or of yourself. Every time we're on the mat, it's a new beginning, a new experience. Relax your toes, your feet, your legs, your hips, pelvis, fingers, hands, arms, shoulders. Connect. Allow the breath to be the bridge between the mind and the body you completely surrender to the now. Let go and park whatever you were doing before class to one side. You've given yourself permission to do the class. Surrender, fully commit. Begin to bring some subtle movement to your fingers, your toes, and then slowly, with the eyes closed still, roll over onto your belly. Effortlessly, quietly rolling over, coming onto the forehead, take the arms back, fingers pointing down towards your feet, and now feel the breath as you breathe in through the nose, the belly pressing into the mat. And as you exhale out through the nose, the belly returning to the front of the spine. Breathing in and breathing out. The breath is breathing you. You slowly bring your hands underneath your shoulders, 
curl the toes. Notice how the knees lift up off the mat. Squeeze the elbows in towards the sides of your ribs. Lift the forehead and gently push up into a high plank. Notice. Make any adjustments with the hands and the feet and commit to your high plank. That balance is the weight equally distributed on the right side and the left side. Your hands, your feet, navel in, hips slightly lower than your shoulders as you push out, protracting from the upper back, pushing the earth, the ground, the mat away. And then slowly on your next exhale, push up into your downward dog. Resist the urge to move the hands, minor modifications to the feet, and bring your body into your Ardha Mukha Shavasana. And this may be the first one of the day. So walk the dog. Bending right leg, left leg. The invitation to send the heels closer to the mat. Check in with the fingers, index and thumb, 45 degrees. Separate the fingers. Take the weight out of the wrists as you walk. Maybe you move your head from side to side. As you begin to find stillness, the heels hiding behind the toes, the shoulders away from the ears, the hips up and back, and your dristi, either between your knees, looking back towards your toes, up towards your navel, the tip of your nose, your focus as you find stillness, that external rotation of the upper arms and be right here, right now. Slowly walk your hands back to your feet and take ragdoll arms, opposite hand to elbow. You may want to sway from side to side. And then find that stillness as you hang. The head heavy. Maybe there's a soft bend in the knees. Completely commit, relax the toes. And then let go of the elbows. Hang, tuck chin and slowly begin to lift up. No rush. The head is last. And once the head is centered on the shoulders, roll the shoulders up and back. Resist the urge to move the feet and close the eyes. You've landed. Relax the face. Soften the forehead. Give yourself permission to be here in this space and again check in with the movement of the breath and the location of the breath. That breath, the bridge between the body and the mind. As you quieten the mind, your awareness is every inhale and every exhale. Blink the eyes open, bring your hands into prayer and make a fist. Inhale, send the fist up towards the ceiling, gaze up at the fist. And use your exhale to tilt over towards the right. Sending that right hip over towards the left. Have equal space between the head and your upper arms as you stretch over. Pressing the feet into the mat. And again, check in for balance. As you find this state of equanimity and calmness. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale over to the left. Send your left hip over towards the right. The palms pressed in, connecting your toes 
right foot, left foot pressed into the mat. That stretch from the right hip. And use your next inhale to bring you up. Exhale, release the arms. Let the arms fall as if bringing the arms through water. Inhale, roll the shoulders up. Exhale, take the shoulders back. Bring your hands back into prayer. Inhale, send the prayer up towards the ceiling. Gaze up towards your thumbs. Hinge at the hips, fold. Soft bend in the knees, let go as you release the hands and slowly walk your hands down the mat, finding your inverted V, your Ardha Mukha Shavasana. Settle here, checking for that equal distribution of weight in palms and feet, not wrists. And merely be for three breaths, breathing in, breathing out for one, breathing in, breathing out for two, breathing in, breathing out for three. Look forward, soft bend in the knees, walk step or land lightly to the top of the mat. Flat back, fingertips or palms to shins or palms down, exhale, full forward fold. Bring your hands into prayer, inhale, come all the way up, sending the prayer up towards the ceiling. Udva Hastasana, exhale to Dasana, release the arms. Notice. Bring the palms in front, hook thumbs, separate the fingers, relax the toes and clench the jaw. Inhale, send the arms up towards the ceiling, a gentle back bend. Exhale, full forward fold, release the arms, interlace the fingers behind and straighten the legs. Inhale, release the hands and step the right foot back, runner's lunge. Exhale, step left foot back, downward dog. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, bend elbows, elbows hugged in. Come through, upward dog. And exhale, roll over the toes and push back to downward dog. Inhale, come forward, high plank. This time, drop knees, toes point back, lower chest and chin. Come through, baby cobra, Bhugandasana. And then curl toes, bend knees, send seat back and push up into your downward dog. And we're here for three, breathing in, Breathing out for one, breathing in, breathing out for two, breathing in, breathing out for three. Look forward, step right foot between the hands, step left foot to meet the right foot, full forward fold. Hook thumbs, inhale, come all the way back up, bend knees, back bend, exhale, fold. Release the hands, interlace the fingers, straighten the legs. Lower the hands, step left foot back on the inhale. Runner's lunge, exhale, right foot back, downward dog. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, come through. Exhale, downward dog. Minor adjustments with the feet, breathing in, breathing out for one. Breathing in, breathing out for two. Breathing in, breathing out for three. Look forward, step the left foot between the hands. Step the right foot to meet, hook thumbs, inhale. Come all the way up, bending knees as you take that gentle back bend. And then come all the way up to Tadasana, releasing the arms, rolling the shoulders up and back, and find your Tadasana. Checking in, balance. Are you wanting to tilt forward, sway from side to side? Feel the four corners of each foot pressed into the mat. Notice the intricacies of your feet, the heels, the inner arches. Big toe, little toe. 
just be. Bring your hands into prayer. Feel the energy, your prana, your life force. Inhale, send the prayer up towards the ceiling. Exhale, dive forward, full forward fold. Look up, flat back, Udva Uttanasana. Exhale, walk, step or float back into your plank and stay here. Inhale, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, come through upward dog. Exhale, push back to downward dog. Breathing in, breathing out for one. Inhale, lift right leg up. Three legged dog. Drive that right heel up towards the ceiling. Toes point down, roll that right hip down. We're not opening the hip. And check in again, that balance. Are you putting more weight into the right hand than you are the left hand? Distribution, equal. Inhale, lift that right leg a little higher. Exhale, bring the right knee to your right elbow. Exhale and inhale. Notice, staying with the breath. On the inhale, send that right leg back up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Listen carefully. Inhale, right knee to left elbow. Exhale, drop that left heel, extend the right leg out. And if you want to, lift that left hand up towards the ceiling. Balance now on your right hand, your right foot is lifted and extended out. The sole of your left foot pressed into the mat for three, nice, for two, for one. Lower the left hand, bring that right knee into the chest and step the right foot between the hands. Use your inhale to come up into high lunge. And notice where the breath's gone. Drop the shoulders. You can smile and breathe. Breathing in and breathing out for one. Breathing in, breathing out for two. Breathing in and breathing out for three. Inhale. Exhale, drop hands. Step that right foot back, you're in your plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Come through upward dog or baby cobra, and push back to downward dog. Rolling over the toes, breathing in, breathing out for one, breathing in, breathing out for two, breathing in, Breathing out for three. Inhale, lift left leg. Exhale, bring left knee to left elbow. Hold it there. Breathing in. Breathing out for one. Breathing in. Breathing out for two. Breathing in. Breathing out for three. Inhale, lift that left leg back up. Three-legged dog. Exhale, bring that knee to elbow. Inhale, right elbow. Exhale, extend that left leg. Drop the back foot and extend the right hand up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Notice weight in hand and back foot for three, for two, or one. Lower the right hand, come onto the ball of the right foot. Bring that left knee into the chest. Step the left foot between the hands. Use your inhale to bring you up to a high lunge. Feet are on double yellow lines. Drop the shoulders. Biceps by the ears. Right palm facing left palm. Tailbone tucked. Navel in. Breathing in and breathing out. Go a bit deeper with that bend. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, exhale, drop hands. Step left foot back, you're in your high plank. Inhale, exhale, let's bend the elbows. Shoulder height, hug ribs. Use the inhale to bring you through. And roll over the toes and find your downward dog. Breathing in, breathing out for one. Breathing in, breathing out for two. Breathing in, 
breathing out for three. We're going to add on. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, left elbow. Inhale, extend that right leg. Lift that left arm up. Inhale, bring knee into the chest. Drop the left hand. Exhale, step right foot between the hands. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, tilt forward. 45 degrees and stay here. For five. For four. For three. For two. For one. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, hands into prayer at heart center. Inhale, come deep into that right knee. And on your exhale, take off into your warrior three. Beautiful. Lifting, extending that left leg. Roll that left hip down. Drive that left heel towards the back of your mat. Maybe bring the thumbs away from the sternum. Find that spot to focus, extending right leg and left leg. On your next inhale, drop the back foot. Come back up into your high lunge. Exhale, release the hands. Step the right foot back, you're in your plank. Breathe. Exhale, we lower down with control and balance. Inhale, bring the ribs through. And gently roll over your toes and find your inverted V, your Ardha Mukha Shavasana. And we're here for three breaths. Breathing in, breathing out for one. Breathing in, breathing out for two. Breathing in, breathing out for three. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale. Exhale, extend that left leg. Drop the right foot, lift the right arm up. Inhale, bring the left knee into the chest. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Inhale, we come up, high lunge. Exhale, tilt forward, hold, breathe for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands into prayer. Inhale, deep into that left knee. We take off, lifting that right leg, roll the right hip down thumb away from sternum. Find that spot to focus on. Balance. That standing leg. But equally that extended right leg. Relax the facial expressions. For three. For two. For one. Drop the right foot. Come up into high lunge. Exhale. Drop hands. Frame the foot. Step back into your high plank, inhale. Exhale, let's chaturanga. Come through upward dog or baby cobra, your practice. And exhale, find your downward dog. Here for three, breathing in. Breathing out for one. Breathing in. Breathing out for two. Breathing in. Breathing out for three. Inhale, lift right leg. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, left elbow. Exhale, extend that right leg, lift the left hand. Lower the left hand, knee to chest on the inhale. Exhale, step the right foot. Inhale, high lunge, lovely. Exhale, tilt forward. Inhale, come up, high lunge. Exhale, hands into prayer. Take off on the exhale, warrior three. Inhale. High lunge. Exhale, open into warrior two and stay right here, right now. Going wide, walk that left foot back, sink a little deeper, get the right thigh parallel to the mat, shuffle the right toes closer to the mat, tailbone tucked, torso tall, arms equal in height. Separate the fingers. Notice where you are right now. Don't deny yourself this present moment. 
as you find that strong warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. And then let's straighten that right leg. Let's re-bend and take the right elbow to our right knee and take that left arm overhead. Extended side. Don't dump in the right hip. Stay here or take a bind. Threading the right arm underneath and the right hand to your left wrist. Bringing that left shoulder back and gazing over your left shoulder. And find that stillness. Breathing in and breathing out for one. Doing really great guys. Breathing in, breathing out for two. Breathing in, breathing out for three. If we're taking the bind, all of us drop our right hand to the inside of the right foot. Take the left hand to meet the right foot. Turn on the ball of the left foot. Step the right foot back, you're in your plank. Let's knees, chest, chin or chaturanga down. Come through up a dog or baby cobra and push back to downward dog. Breathing in, breathing out for one. Breathing in, breathing out for two. Breathing in, breathing out for three. Inhale, lift left leg. Left knee, left elbow. Right elbow. Extend that left leg out. Lift the right hand. Use your inhale to bring that knee into the chest. Step the left foot between the hands. Inhale, we lift up, high lunge. Exhale, we tilt forward, stretch. Use the inhale to bring you up. Exhale, hands into prayer at heart center. We take off, warrior three. We step back, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open into your warrior two. Making the adjustments with that right foot. Arms are shoulder height. That energy from the tip of your left hand to the tip of that middle finger of your right hand. Unclench the jaw. Strong Virabhadrasana two. Go deep with every exhale in that left knee. Drive the blade edge of your right foot into the mat. On your inhale, straighten that left leg. Exhale, re-bend, find your extended side. Elbow drops with grace. Taking the right arm overhead or finding your bind, your core. That left hand finding your right wrist and bring your right wrist back. Breathe, notice where you are right now. As you extend, bringing, opening the chest forward, gazing up over your right shoulder. For three, for two, for one, come out of the bind, release the left hand inside of your left foot and place the right hand to meet the left. Come onto the ball of the right foot, step the left foot back, you're in your plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga down. Come through upward dog or baby cobra and push back to downward dog. Breathing in, breathing out for one, we're adding on. Breathing in, breathing out for two, breathing in, Breathing out for three. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Left elbow, extend the right leg, lift the left hand up. Lower that left hand, right knee into the chest. Step the right foot between the hands. Inhale, lift up to high lunge. Exhale, we tilt forward. Inhale, we come back up. Exhale, hands into prayer at heart center. Take off. Warrior three. Inhale, step back, high lunge. Exhale, open into warrior two. Straighten, right leg. Rebend, warrior two. And this time, straighten that right leg and take reverse triangle. Drop the left hand, take the right arm overhead. For three, for two, for one, inhale, come all the way back up. 
Exhale, drop the hands to frame the right foot and come onto the ball of the left foot. Shuffle your right foot over and walk your right hand inside of your right foot. In lizard. And stay here, rock forwards and back, rock forwards and back. And then once you find your balance, thread your right arm underneath your right knee. And extend that left arm out. So airplane wings and stay here on your fingertips or take a bind. And find that balance on your right foot and the ball of your left foot. Notice where you are for three, for two, for one. Release the right hand inside of your right foot. Drop the back heel and extend that left hand up towards the ceiling. Pushing that right upper arm into your right inner knee for three, for two, for one, lower the left hand, come onto the ball of the left foot, step the right foot back, you're in your plank. Bring the weight into your right hand and drop your ankles over to the right and find your Vashastasana, lifting the hips, extend that left hand up towards the ceiling and breathe for three, for two, for one, listen carefully, come down onto your left forearm and roll the ankles over to the left and lift the right hand. Nice, for three, lift the hips, for two, for one, lower the right forearm, roll the ankles over to the right, lift the left arm and find your balance. For three, for two, for one, lower that left hand this time, roll the ankles over to the left, Vashastasana. Gaze up towards your right thumb, lift the hips, stack the feet for three, for two, for one. Lower the right hand, come back into your plank, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Come through upward dog or baby cobra and push back to downward dog. And we're here for five or child's pose, your call, breathing in, Breathing out for one, knees wide, big toes touch. Breathing in, breathing out for two. Breathing in, breathing out for three. Breathing in, breathing out for four. Breathing in, breathing out for five. If we're in child's pose, slowly come up. Find your downward dog. Check in with the balance. The breath is the bridge between your mind and your body. Whilst we're here in downward dog, let's breathe in through the nose. Exhale, sigh the breath out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale, sigh the breath out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, exhale, sigh the breath out through the mouth and then come back to your nasal breath or if you have been cultivating an ujjayi breath throughout the practice, return. That slight restriction at the back of the throat, that ocean sound victorious over the mind. Hear your breath, inhale, lift the left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knee to elbow, right elbow. Extend that left leg, lift the right hand. Lower the right hand, bring that left knee into the chest. Exhale, step that left foot between the hands. Inhale, we lift up, high lunge. Exhale, we tilt forward. Inhale, we come up. Exhale, hands into prayer. We take off, warrior three. We step back, high lunge. Exhale, we open into warrior two. Straighten that left leg, lovely. Rebend, elbow to knee, taking that right arm overhead. Breathing in, nice, and breathing out. Take a bind or keep that elbow where it is, threading that left arm underneath, right arm behind for one breath in, and one breath out. 
and then release the hands down inside of that left foot extend the right hand up towards the ceiling gaze up towards the right thumb gazing up at the right thumb we lower the right hand and we find our lizard rocking forwards and back forwards and back and find that stillness as we then thread the left arm underneath the left knee extend the right hand out to the side stay here on your fingertips on the ball of the right foot or take a bind hold find that dristy relax the toes relax the face for three for two for one release left hand inside of left foot drop the back heel extend the right hand up towards the ceiling push that left upper arm into your left inner knee took the tailbone breathe for three for two for one, lower the right hand, step that left foot back, you're in your plank. Listen carefully, bring the weight into your left hand, drop your ankles over to the left, extend the right hand, Vashistasana, for three, for two, for one, lower the right forearm, drop the ankles over to the right, find your side plank, lift that left arm up, for three, for two, for one, Lower the left forearm, drop the ankles over to the left, extend the right arm for three, for two, for one. Lower the right hand, drop the ankles over to the right, weight into that right hand, stack the feet, lift the left arm, breathe for three, for two, for one. Lower the left hand, you're in your high plank, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Come through upward dog or baby cobra and push back to downward dog. Breathing in, breathing out for one. Breathing in, breathing out for two. Breathing in, breathing out for three. Look forward, walk, step or float to sit and extend the legs out in front. Bring your hands into prayer at heart center and close the eyes. Staff pose. And check in with the breath. Steady and even. Flex the feet. Drop the shoulders. Find balance. Again, are you tilting over to the right or the left? Is that left shoulder lifted? Drop the shoulders. Soften the facial expression. Breathing in and breathing out and then bend the right leg as you blink the eyes open and bring that heel in close to your right buttock. Take your left hand outside of your left hip, bring the right arm inside and extend that right hand to the outside of your left foot and on the inhale lift that leg and you're on your left hand and right foot and lift a little higher for three, for two, for one and then lower that left leg. Keep stretching that right hand towards the top of your mat and then bend the right arm and take a bind. Notice, take a deep inhale, hinge at the hips and fold over your left thigh. Trying to take the nose to the knee or the chin to the shin. Breathe for three, for two, for one, keep a hold of the bind as you lift up. With grace, step the right foot over your left leg and then release and take the right hand behind. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, twist, bring that elbow outside of your right knee and gaze over your right shoulder. If you want to take a bind, thread that left arm underneath your right knee and take the right hand to meet the left and continue to gaze over your right shoulder. Flex that left foot. Breathe for three, for two, for one. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, a counter twist for one breath in and one breath out. And then come to gaze forward as you bend the left leg, stacking your right knee on top of your left knee. So cow pose. Toes are pointing out to the side. 
Stay here or inhale. And as you exhale, fold. Bringing the chin over the knees. Fully surrendering. Fully committing. Balanced. Right sit bone, left sit bone. Weight equally distributed. The breath balanced equal in length. For three. For two. For one. And then slowly inhale, we come up. Unravel, but bring the knees into the chest. Hug the knees in. Come onto your tippy toes. Lift the feet, lift the feet. Fine Navasana. Extend the legs, sit up tall. Maybe bring the palms together. Breathe for three, for two, for one. Lower the legs, sit up tall. Take the hands behind. Bend the right leg, bend the left leg. Have your feet hip width distant. And then inhale, begin to lift the seat. Reverse table, lifting the hips. Get the hips in line with your knees. And once the hips are in line with your knees, then and only then drop your head back. Navel in. Notice for five, for four, for three, chest and hips high. Two, one, lift the head, tuck the chin, slowly lower the seat. Extend the legs, walk your hands back in and find your staff pose. Hands into prayer at heart center. Breathing in and breathing out. And then bend the left leg. Hug that knee in. Bring the right hand now down outside of your right hip. Left arm inside of your left knee. And stretch. Take a hold of that right foot. And lift. Notice one side is more of a challenge. One side is easier. Breathe. Dristy. For three. For two. For one, lower the right leg. Stretch that left hand beyond the foot and then take a bind. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, fold. Breathing in and breathing out. Go deeper with every exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out and use your inhale to lift up. Exhale, step that left foot over your right leg. Release the left hand, inhale the right arm up and exhale, bring that elbow outside of your left knee and gaze over your left shoulder or thread the right hand underneath and then take the left hand behind and find the bind and breathe for three, Balance for two, for one, release. Counter twist, dropping the right hand, gazing over the right shoulder for one breath in and one breath out and then come back to centre. Bend the right leg, stack knees, cow pose, finding your posture, your seat, staying tall or inhaling. Hinging at the hips as you exhale, folding over. Chin to knee. Completely balanced. Completely centered. That state of equanimity and calmness. The awareness on the breath. For three. For two. For one. Inhale, come all the way back up. And curl, take the hands back, bend right, bend left leg, prepare, inhale, lift up, come back into your reverse chair, or this time, extend the right leg, extend the left leg. Pause Vatanasana, drive the soles of the feet into the mat, lift the hips, gazing back. Push the ground away with the palms. And again, notice, is there balance on one side equal to the other? Lift for five, for four, for three, for two, 
for one, lift the head slowly lower, slowly lower. Bend, hug knees in, lift the feet, find your Navasana, boat pose, breathe for five, four, for three, for two, for one, cross right over left, place the hands down, lift your seat and then hop the feet back, come into your plank and chaturanga down, inhale come through upward dog and push back to downward dog, stay here breathing in, breathing out for one, breathing in, breathing out for two, breathing in, breathing out for three, look forward, come forward into your high plank, chaturanga, bend elbows, hug ribs and slowly return all the way down towards the mat, taking the arms back, forehead connected to the floor, notice where you are right now and then interlace the fingers, create a fist, Keep the toes, the tops of the feet, the legs, the thighs pressed in and on the inhale lift the head, lift the chest. Press the pubic bone into the mat, lift the fist away from the buttocks, squeeze the palms together. Neck is long for three, for two, for one, release lower the head. Bend the right leg, bend the left leg, take a hold of your ankles. Bring your big toes to touch, bow pose. And then inhale, lift the head, lift the chest, lift the knees, lift the thighs. Gaze forward. Try to have the knees no wider than your hips. And inhale, and then roll over to the right. Stay here for three. Lovely, for two, for one. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, roll over to the left. For three, landing quietly, for two, for one, come back to centre and release, bringing right ear to mat, breathing in and breathing out, return the forehead, bend the legs, ankles, sides of feet, your core, big toes touch, inhale, lift, really lift the chest, lift the knees, lift the thighs. Find that dristy. Notice where you are. Kick into the hands. For three, for two, for one. Release, left ear to mat. Breathing in, breathing out. And then bring your hands under your shoulders. Push up and find your child's pose. Big toes to touch. Knees as wide as the mat. Arms extended out, forehead connects to the floor. Rest the elbows, the forearms, the palms onto the mat. And then lift your gaze, thread the right arm underneath your left arm. Drop your right shoulder, right ear, the back of the right hand will come off the mat. And resting on the floor, the three. For two, for one, bring that right arm from underneath, back to child's pose, check in, keep the hips, the seat connected to the heels, lift the gaze through the left arm underneath your right arm, left ear, left shoulder, down on the mat, the back of the left hand connected to the floor. You'll notice your right elbow may have lifted off the mat, you may have come onto your fingertips, your practice for three, for two, for one. Bring that left arm from underneath, extend the left hand and then slowly begin to bring yourself up. Bring the knees together, hero's pose, drop the shoulders, bring your hands into prayer, extend the arms out, stretch the palms forward and on the inhale, lift the arms above the head, driving the palms up towards the ceiling, towards the sky.
Drop the shoulders. Settle. Check in, balance. Are you more onto this right shin than your left shin? Is that left arm stretching higher than the right? And then release the hands. Coming into tripod headstand, so place the hands in front of the knees, slightly to one side, and to check, always come onto the top of the head. So hands out in front, separate the fingers. Lift the seat away from the heels and place the top of the head onto the mat. And then come to sit back on your heels and you'll notice a triangle. The sweaty part of the top of the head will have made a, a mark, an indentation on the mat and your palms are down. So have the top of your head, you're not coming forward and you're not coming back on the head. And then curl the toes, round the upper back and begin to lift the knees. Elbows are in. Don't let the elbows spray out to the side. And then begin to walk the feet in. And you can bring right knee and then left knee into your arms or begin to kick up, extending the legs up. Tripod headstand, extending the legs and hold balance for five, for four, beautiful. For three, you've really got this. For two, for one. Slowly lower the legs, but only halfway. Chaturanga the toes. And then jump back into your plank. Chaturanga. Come through upward dog. And push back to downward dog, beautiful. And look forward, soft bend in the knees. Walk, step or float to the top of the mat and come through to lie down. With control, lower, middle, upper back. And bend the knees. Let the knees touch. Separate the feet, the width of the mat, constructive rest. And again, find that balance. Remember to smile. Just be. Strong practice. And then walk your feet in. Take your arms out T-shaped. Take your right knee over your left knee. Hook your toes, the back of your left calf. Press into the mat with your left foot. Lift the hips. As you shuffle the hips over to the right, drop your knees over to the left. And if your neck is okay, gaze over your right shoulder. Try to bring your knees in line with your hips or navel and breathe for three, for two, for one. Return the head to centre as you slowly and with control bring the knees back up, uncurl, unravel, place the soles of the feet on the mat, align the hip and then cross left knee over right knee. Hook toes, twisted roots, press into the mat with your right foot, lift the hips, shuffle the hips over to the left, and this time drop the knees over to the right, shoulders connected to the floor, and then gaze over your left shoulder. You may have taken your right hand to your knee to invite the knees closer to the floor, but again, it's an invitation. It's not an order. For three, for two, for one, and then inhale, return the head, lift the knees, uncross, uncurl, and bring the knees into the chest. Arms wrapped around the chins, hands to knees, and lift the shoulders, lift the forehead, curl into a little ball. And then still holding onto the knees or the shins, lower the head and shoulders. Take the grip, the back of the knees and extend the legs up towards the ceiling. Point the toes. Release your hands down and arms down to the mat and flex the feet and flex the toes. Drive the heels, the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. And again, balance is one leg stretching more up towards the ceiling than the other. 
Are you pressing into this left hip more so than the right hip? Is the left hand connected more to the mat than the right? For three, for two, for one, and then bend the legs. Return the soles of the feet to the mat. And slowly extend the right leg, extend the left leg. Your feet the width of the mat. Turn the palms to face the ceiling. Lift the head, replace the back of the head onto the floor. A slight tucking of the chin. And come into your Shavasana. Taking three grounding breaths. Inhale through the nose. Audible sigh out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh out through the mouth and then return back to your normal breath. Completely letting go of the physical practice. Giving yourself complete permission to be here right now. As you find stillness, using your mind's eye, scan through the body from the tips of the toes to the crown of the head. And check for any tension or tightness that you still may be holding on to. Let it go. Let it go with every exhale. But stay present. Stay soft, effortless effort to just be. Safe to be here, safe to breathe. Draw your attention to your right toes, your right foot, your right ankle and breathe your right calf, your right shin, your right knee, breathe. Your right thigh, your right hip, your right leg, breathe. Breathe the back of your body, the front of your body, your left toes, your left foot, your left ankle, breathe, your left calf, your left shin, your left knee, breathe, your left thigh, your left hip, your left leg, breathe. Breathe the back of your body. Breathe the front of your body. Your right hand, your right wrist, your right arm. Breathe. Your left hand, your left wrist, your left arm. Breathe. Your legs your arms, the back of your body, the front of your body, breathe. Breathe in and out through your nose, noticing the movement of your breath. Completely relax, completely breathe the body, as the body the mind and the breath unite. Bring an awareness to the body. Stay soft, stay relaxed. Bring some subtle movement now to your toes, your fingers, your wrists, your ankles. 
and subtly bend the legs and bring your knees into your chest and give yourself that well-deserved hug. Release the right arm overhead and gently roll over onto your right hand side. Your right upper arm is the pillow and stay here in your fetal position just for a few moments. Give yourself permission to stay present. And with your eyes closed, using your left hand, bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Legs are crossed. The back of the hands resting on your knees, palms open, an index finger and thumb together, chin mudra. Sit bones are rooted. The crown of the head pulling your self up towards the ceiling, towards the sky, so that the spine is long. And B. Be brave enough to live life creatively. The creative is the place where no one else has ever been. You have to leave the city of your comfort to go into the wilderness of your intuition. You can't get there by bus, only by hard work and risk, and by not quite knowing what you are doing. What you'll discover will be wonderful. What you'll discover will be yourself. Bring your hands into prayer at heart center and feel the energy around and within you and give yourself a smile. Bow your head down to that space between your heart and your prayer and place your left hand onto your heart space and place the right hand onto your back of your left hand and just thank your heart. Namaste.